Hello, how are you doing? Hope you guys are okay and well and healthy and staying safe. We've been having some crazy weather. Grandma wants to share a story with you. It's written by Eric Carl, and it's called 10 Little Rubber Ducks. Now, I think this was a very interesting story because right at the beginning of the book, it says how he got his inspiration for writing this book. And it was from a newspaper article he read back in 1992, a shipment of 29,000 rubber bathtub toys, including ducks and other animals, fell overboard from a container ship. And some of the toys washed up in Alaska and the Bering Strait and other places around the world. And so he took that newspaper article and decided to write a story about it. And this is called 10 Little Rubber Ducks. I think that was a very interesting way to find out how he got his idea to write the story. Chuckity chuck chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted. Bills are red, eyes are blue. See, they're coming out of that machine. Then they are packed, 10 to a box, and off they go. See, they're being taken to a truck in their boxes. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. See, these boxes full of rubber ducks are being loaded onto that cargo ship. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries. See, they're traveling across the ocean. But those little rubber ducks can go to lots of people all across the world. Suddenly, a storm turns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. See those 10 rubber ducks? They fell overboard. You think the captain will be able to retrieve them? After some time, the storm calms down. The 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. They don't stay together very long. The first rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. Different animals in the north and in the south, huh? The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up. An octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. A whale sings to it. The 10th little rubber duck drifts that way. 
bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting. It is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Those are real ducks. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Look at that. He's floating right with those real ducks, even though he's just a rubber duck. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. And if you push there, can you hear? <laughs> the book squeaks. Let's see if we can do it again. That's what the little rubber duck says. So all those 10 little rubber ducks that fell overboard drifted to all different places. I just thought that was a fun story and it was interesting to know how he came up with that story. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Grandma loves you. Talk to you later.